You know me. SDMT. Man, check this out right here, man. Somebody sent me a question to my email, so I want to answer it through a video. What do I do if my coach hates me? Now, that's a great question because a lot of us have coaches and some of us, we don't always get along with everybody. So we have to try to figure things out so you can get things to work out on that team. Or if it doesn't work out, you may have to look on getting on moving to another team. All right. So what I would, um, the best advice I would give you is try to meet with your coach before or after, after practice, confront him. Um, just say, hey, coach, I love being part of this team. Um, it seems like I'm not one of your most favorite players on this team. What can I do to change that and get an opportunity to show you my abilities? You know what I mean? So that's step one. Now, step two, um, you should probably talk to your parents and um, have your, you and your parents meet with the coach. Okay, so you see if you guys can get things straightened out. Um, that's if you're young. If you're like in junior college and college, you know, the meeting with you and the coach is enough. But um, so if if it continues and things don't get better, then you may have to look into going to another team. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times people don't understand. They think, oh, it's competing, it's competing. Sometimes coaches don't get along with every player and they don't like certain players. They, they just, you know, you, they rub you the wrong way or you guys just don't, you know, you don't click together. You know, a lot of personalities don't always click. That's doctors, that's lawyers, that's police officers, um, co-workers, whatever. So sometimes personalities just don't work out. You can take it from me. I wasted three years out of high school, got screwed. My mom made me go to the school because it had to be a good school because white kids went there, but not to think that I would have to go through a lot of problems going to that school. But anyway, I transferred my senior year. I'm a star. I'm going crazy. I'm scoring on that team. You know what I mean? And it just happened to work out for me in that way. But I lost a lot of opportunity to, get to, make, to make a lot of film those other years. So the best advice I would give you is make sure you confront the problem head up. Do not just, you know, stay there and, and, and get messed over by that coach or whatever. Try to confront him. Let him know you're a human being. You know, you want to be part of the team. You love football. And what can you do to get out of his doghouse? You know what I mean? Because it's not a good place and a good situation to be in a coach's doghouse. Some of us have been there and, you know, you feel like you're getting picked on and bullied. And it's really sad. A lot of these coaches, man. A lot of y'all are scumbags if you're picking on little kids. You should pick on a grown man. I'm a West Side PB. Play with me. You know what I'm saying? I bet you won't. But the point is, you know what I mean? Because when I was a kid, I went through that. But now I'm a grown man. and I don't want no problems. and I don't want no problems. Funny how that works. But the point is, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you don't want to be in a coach's doghouse. And you don't want to be on a team. Where you're putting all this work and you're grinding. And you're not getting the opportunity to show and showcase your abilities, okay? So the best thing for you to do is confront that coach, you know, let your parents know that you're gonna talk to them. Now, if that doesn't work out, have you and your uh, parents meet with the coach, and if that doesn't work out, it's time to look for another team. You know what I mean? Kids are switching schools all the time, and a lot of times it's the best move because a lot of these coaches are old school, and some of them just, they may not like you for whatever reason. So some people say, oh, it's just people are scared to compete. Nah, that's not true. Sometimes coaches really just don't like people. And hey, we've all been on football teams. We've seen certain people get picked picked on for no reason. The coach just, coaches like to pick one player, and that's the player they're just going to mess with. And it sucks when you look back at it as a grown man. If you're a grown man picking on a little kid, you're goofy as hell. I just want to tell you that. I'm on Westside PB one more time just to let you know. But, um... Uh, just, just, you know, I want to want to make sure that you kids definitely get an opportunity to showcase your abilities if you're putting that hard work. And understand, if you're in a bad situation, try to find a resolution. And don't just sit there and be screwed over and then you waste all your four years of high school. You never get an opportunity to showcase your abilities. Okay, so make sure you, number one, you try to confront the issue with the coach, maybe before or after practice. Number two, you know, you talk to your parents, have them and you meet with the coach so you guys can work something out. And if that doesn't work, number three, start looking for a whole new team. Go talk to that coach. Go look at that um, Go look at that program, and hopefully that's a good spot for you. All right, so hopefully this video helps. Hopefully it's informative. And hopefully, you know what I mean, get out that coach's doghouse and showcase your abilities. You already know. The grind way. I'm out. SDMT. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn my notifications.